Today I thought I'd show you some of the little models I made and tell you how I made them. The first bunch of models I've made, well, um, to the, I've always made little things. I've always loved little and tiny things, I don't know why. So when I was a child I made things with plasticine and um, then I graduated to making things with thymol, which is a modelling clay and you bake it in the oven for 30 minutes and it goes hard and I still use that today when I want to make um, miniature models. But the first batch of models I really made was just after finals. Um, I was quite at a loss as to know what to do and quite unhappy at the time and a bit lost and it might seem a funny thing to do in the summer holidays after finals or the summer after finals but that's what I did and that first bunch of models are very small and the inspiration was mainly taken from my children's picture books and most of the models are toys from an old-fashioned nursery and some of them are little animals but most of them are meant to be toys and I don't actually have them in London with me so I'm going to show you um, a page from my old website where they still are and explain a little bit about each one. So, so that is Dinah, another ragdoll. Then I have one of my favourite little models, which is a pixie, <coughs> or an elf. He's called Poodle. He has a little red cap and a little red outfit. And there's another view of him. You can see he's very, very tiny. Then I have a little pig that I made when I was um, about 11 or 12. He was one of a litter of piglets. <clears throat> All very different. This one has really big ears and a bit of a weird tail. And that's the front of him. You can see his little trotters and nose. There's a, a yellow mouse. There's a cat from Richard Scarry, Prue I called her, I don't know what her, her name is in the books. I painted the pattern of her face with acrylic paint and the spots on her lilac dress with acrylic paint after she was baked. It took quite a bit of work because she's so detailed. Then there's a sad kind of stuffed cat, I mean a soft toy but... Um, <clears throat> I can't remember what I, I called this one. There's a little baby's bear. I don't know if you've seen the type. Oh, it, no, it's a rabbit. Yeah, the type of very stiff, moulded, soft toy that used to be around. Actually, this is more in the 70s than, say, the time when A.A. Milne was writing his books and E.H. Shepherd was illustrating them. So it really is a mishmash, but it is still a nursery toy. Um, this this rabbit is supposed to have blue button eyes. Then we have uh, we have a little rag doll called Raggedy Ann, which who is based again. I'm sorry about such a bad quality photo that um, it's it doesn't show up very large. She has a very pale pink dress, stri striped top, and kind of gingery brown hair and just a little smile at least a little pink line for curving line for a smile and two eyes she's based on a real rag doll I had and I loved and we bought in Brecon when I was about eight <clears throat> this bear I can't remember what what he's called but he's again a, a kind of babyfied bear for the nursery there's a little frog called ribbit original I know Another baby doll with a kind of drawn-on arch expression on her face. She's supposed to be ch a china doll, all dressed up in her finery for the baby carriage. There's a little rubber duck for the bath. Sailor, who's supposed to be a very old um, <coughs> sailor doll with the kind of painted-on expression. Ah, sorry, I have to plug my, my MacBook in. Um, with a kind of painted on expression on the fabric, or oh, well, it's all final. There's a giraffe called Sally, 
and again I'm sorry it's so small um, I think where did I get the inspiration from that was it a roll doll giraffe the penny and me or was it an Alberg Alberg illustration not sure there's a pig in a sou'wester I think that might have been from Richard Scarry there's my favorite shrew who is called Wilf I think I really love this little shrew with his feet his paws his little jutting mouth his eye his nose everything turned up just as I wanted it to there's a side view of another shrew a cross soft dog called Spot um, a soft dog toy like a kind of uh, in dungarees from which it's scary I think a squirrel toy with stitches along uh, a seam along the side here and holding a nut I don't know if you've seen those old-fashioned type of squirrel toys there's a black lamb called Suki wow I don't know how to remember that name um, a very <clears throat> boring and miserable little bear called Ted there's Another pink baby rabbit. I can't remember what I called this. There's a fox. Oh, I'm sorry, it's so small. Um, who's prancing along on his hind legs and carrying a knapsack on his back. He's not really a toy, but he kind of went with the toys and was more or less the same size, so I put him in. There's a little, supposed to be a sock. There's the there's the stitching of the sock, a sock toy did have a bell on his nose and then I put a red bobble. He's called What's It or Thingamy because he's a, supposed to be a handmade toy and no one really knows what he is. <clears throat> then there's a little horse on wheels. There's Wallace the Panda, another soft bear. There's a little grey dog. There's Wilbur, my favourite pig, which I made when I was about 10 or 11 I think and I've kept all this time. There's, I can't remember if, oh, Willy, Willy, um, another shrew, but a different type of shrew. There's a baby's rabbit called William in a blue all-in-one suit. I think that may have come from Richard Scarry, or I may have made, made that up. There's a little mole, and, um, is that it? Oh no, I have to go to the next page. Unless that's it. Back to album, let's see. That's it.